Hi, my name is Des Fitzgerald, I'm from King's College in London. I'm Felicity Callard from Durham University. And together we're the authors of a paper in Theory, Culture and Society called Social Science and Neuroscience Beyond Interdisciplinarity, Experimental Entanglements. This paper is really a, an attempt to think about a turn to collaboration with the neurosciences. We're, we're both social scientists and for several years we've been involved in research projects in which neuroscientific knowledge is somehow implicated. But we're also social scientists who never felt particularly bound by the way that social science imagines and reproduces itself. Um, and we found in recent years that we've been doing research not just on the neurosciences, but also somehow with and through the neurosciences. And this paper is really our attempt to think about what, what that collaboration means. The more that we've been collaborating with neuroscientists, the more that we've felt frustrated by what we see as a very dry, arid account of interdisciplinarity that tends to govern those kinds of collaboratory spaces. So the paper is also an attempt to intervene and provide new ways of thinking about what interdisciplinarity and what collaboration might look like in practice. And really the, the starting point for that new intervention is to think um, about and with experiment. There's of course a long social scientific literature on experiments and on neuroscientific experiments especially, but what we want to do in this paper is to think about the experiment not only as a space of reduction or as a space that produces particular kind of effects or particular kinds of bodies, but to think about this, the experiment as a space of excess, as a space of generation, as a space in which many stories are being produced and, and, and relayed. And really our, our question is, might, might there be an interesting moment in which social science can somehow dwell in that space and to start thinking with those stories? In our use of experiment, we really want to harvest how experiment has been written about, practiced across the humanities, the history of science, social and technology studies, and the neurosciences. And crucially, and here our term entanglement is important, to try and think experiment without adjudicating in advance what each discipline or disciplinary debate might contribute to the work that we're doing. That's pretty much it. Um, this isn't a very modest paper, it's a self-consciously programmatic paper. We want, we want people to read it, we want people to be irritated by it, to be frustrated by it, and we also want maybe one or two people to enjoy it and to think we're onto something important. It's particularly easy to read the paper because it's open access thanks to the Wellcome Trust. So that, that's basically it. Um, of course we want people to not just agree or disagree with what we're saying, but really to take the paper as a spur to trace their own trajectories of entanglement, to think about what an experimental entanglement might look like in their own practice and how it might enrich that practice. Thanks. Thanks.